rear loose is about. We've got three dogs, all the camp gear in the tiniest tinny you've ever seen. Full of no free board <laughs> No free board. Every time the dog moves, it only chucks you out. And there's a heap of crocs through this river, but we're just trying to be careful and be smart about it and poke up and hopefully catch a pig for dinner. So, <laughs> oh, main dogs already wanting to catch a pig, but we've got to get up a bit. So, um, yeah, we'll keep poking along and see what happens. Hopefully, this motor starts again. Not looking good, bud. Oh, shit. Not a very quick boat, but she'll get us there and back. <laughs> That's top <to> speed, brother. <laughs> We're starting to get up the river a little bit more now. A lot cleaner water and it's starting to become brackish, so not long and we'll be in the fresh water. The dog's just sniffing hard the whole way up. The dogs have been wanting to jump out of the boat and go catch a pig, so they're keen. As soon as we get up into a bit bit of a smaller river where it's a bit easier and there's not as many crocs, we'll uh, collar the dogs up and try and catch a pig. That's how we do it, boys. Stay, stay, stay. Oh well, this is home for tonight. Nice sandy little beach, shallow, so we can see the crocs if they're gonna come up camp up here, a bit higher off the bank, away from the crocodiles. Oh, well, it's an old slide, but you can see the size of his footprint here. Where we're going to camp. What do you reckon? Just... They're on every bank. Oh, you can't get away from them, so we'll probably set up a little moat up there or something so we don't get eaten. First things first, before we go for a hunt, we're gonna set up a big fire so we can get a lot of hot coals. So hopefully when we get the pig, we can come back and start cooking straight up because it's a lot of meat to cook. So it's gonna take a bit of time. Bar, leaves, and here's these little twigs to start at first, so. That'll go now, look at it. It's cranking up in there. So we're going to go for a hunt, let all that burn down to the coals and as we come back we'll get more timber, stock it up again and hopefully we've got a pig for dinner tonight. Yeah yep. boy. <laughs> and it's never a real loose trip without forgetting something because Connor forgot the friggin' cooker last time and then I forgot my clothes bag that had all the torches in it so. And the torch was a very important thing so we can check the banks for croc eyes and make sure, well give us a little bit of security yeah. about being safe so that's my bad now we only got the light on the gopro so oh well we're just gonna have to make do now I survival mission <laughs> <laughs> let's go and get some pigs Milo is 200. Yeah, he's hit. Milo's got it. <laughs> bro, bl blaze out 400, bro. Hey? Get 
Good boys, good boys, good boys, get him. Hello, Blaze got this nice little sour, really fat, good eating size. So I'd say this is the one we're gonna eat tonight. And it's got a little bit of silver in it, so I'm pretty sure this is a good little ginger eating ball. Good boy, little solo bail, eh? Milo and that got one. I'm sweating because I, I had to run up to the other pig because camera lost Milo on tracker and he had it on point. And then I was like, oh, Blaze is back on. He was like 500 meters the other way and he had it bailed. So, whew, we got dinner tonight. Woo! Yeah. What we're doing? We're bleeding the blood out a bit. Just gotta bleed the bleed the meat before you before you like eat it. Otherwise, it doesn't taste as good. So, more more blood you can get out of it, the better. Especially if you're eating it fresh. I think. So. Oh, oh come. That's dinner. We're not going hungry tonight, boys. Dogs get a feed, we get a feed. Real loose reward right there. Little ginger sour. Perfect. Yeah. There's literally no better eating size than that. So it's about 30 kilos, 20 kilos. Fat ginger. It is the perfect eating size pig. They've been eating figs and all that, so it'll be proper good eating. We'll hang it up like this, bleed it, gut it. And um, yeah, check the liver. We gotta we gotta check the vital organs and make sure it's not sick. And I think there's white spots on the liver if um it's no good to eat. So we'll do all that. I don't know if we can show it. Drop a comment if you want us to show it in the shorts. So yeah. I don't know if we're allowed to film all this sort of cutting its guts and dropping the guts out and all that. But at the end of the day, that's that's what you got to do when you want to eat a wild animal. You gotta you gotta butcher it yourself. It's pretty heavy today though. Dinner tonight, boys. Woo! Oh yeah, she's gonna be cooking soon. <laughs> Pig, we've got to burn the hair off, get this fire cranking a little way higher, and then that's dinner. Yep. Oh, hot that bastard. Sweating. Need to like slide the whole pig your way. I'm mm. burning myself here. Mm. Sort of starting to come off now. Starting to look good. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Ooh, found some marlins. Ooh. Done this a time or two, bud. We're like pros at it. <laughs> Just leave him roast up like that for a bit. Hopefully, they don't fall. It shouldn't. We roast him up like that and then, then like him. roast him, flip him right back and around the other way. Fall when it's back up that way. Yeah. Missed him. Dogs have got to be the first ones to test taste, so we'll get a little bit off for them. What do you reckon? Ooh, you like it. What about old blue over here? 
plus Il y a mon fin des numéros, non, 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 non. Mmh. Got Joxie over here doing the hard yards, bringing in the timber. Oh, he's got the hardwood too. I'm on gotta do it, eh? <laughs> well, Milo's had a test taste and he reckons it's bloody good. Ah, oh, true. He's even scunching around trying to drag it off the fire now. Really? Oh, she's cooking up nice there. We had to wrap a dog chain around it because it sort of slipped off the spit, so. You get these little hiccups on the big contracts, but starting to cook up nicely. What do you reckon? Keen to smoke a bit of smoky colour coming in in the guts here. Yeah, see the smoky sort of, I don't even see it, but... Idiot. Yeah. Bashed, yes, yeah, so we're not cooked yet. <laughs> I thought he was getting keen. Alright, looks good though. It's actually not even as hard as we thought, really, like... To use that mine look that good, but it actually looks a lot better than we thought it was going to look. Yeah. So, give it another hour or two and I reckon it'll be mint. Full of skin, starting to crack through now. Oh, that's pretty hot. Sun's going down behind the trees. Beer clock. Pulls a bit more. Get it pretty hot in there. This leg hasn't had enough heat yet, so... Mm. Smells prime, this leg's nearly about ready to rip off. That's a crack crack. I don't know if it's ready, eh? It's ready. You reckon? Yeah, 100%. Smells like pork. <laughs> it's actually prime. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, it's good, eh? <laughs> yeah, boy! And a little test taste. That's good, eh? The little back straps. Cuts like it's tender. Looks good. Nice and white. Not bad, good taste. Yeah. Bit of salt. If we had some. <laughs> we're, we're giving her a bit of deep heat in the fire. <laughs> Roost her up a bit. I'm gonna tear her leg off and hook in. <laughs> Looking good. Oh, uh, well, we just pulled it off. It's cooked. So. This side's ours, obviously the other side's the dogs because we can't eat it all, so we're going to chop a bit off these back straps here and a bit off this leg, maybe chop the leg off, and then the dogs can just go to town on it because <laughs> they're the ones that caught it. Hey boys, is it keen? They're keen. Let it cool down a bit. Ooh, that looks good on the old back straps there. Bit of salt when it went astray. Yeah. Definitely not the way to do crackling, is it? <laughs> Over the fire. <laughs> Need the old rotisserie. I think I'm up for a new dog chain too. <laughs> yeah. Lucky we had it, eh? Otherwise we wouldn't be able to get it. Oh, it looks actually good, eh? Pretty tender. Not bad. Not bad. Mm. Old dogs will love it. Get that big plate going, I'm gonna hook in. Drop it in the sand for the poor bastard. <laughs> Half hot, actually. Yeah, we'll just cut him up. We've cut our little self, so bit so the war or stuff the dogs are gonna get There's a bit raw in the middle so the dogs are getting the middle shit It'll cool down for a bit but at least we're not wasting it all dogs are having some we're having some normally we do hunt pigs and just like kill them and leave them because they are a pest in cape york but you know if you can eat them and they're good then and feed your dogs a bit then it's better than wasting a day juice will have me me Come here. Come here. <laughs> he loves it. Bit of roast pork for dinner. Oh yeah. Oh well, we'll got flip back to some when we've got it all chopped up and we'll have a bit of a feed out of it. What do you reckon, bud? Not the best pork I've ever had, but in a survival situation, it'll do. Our dogs are pretty keen yeah, on it. Yeah, they're keen as hell on it, I love it. <laughs> so there you go, guys. If you ever stuck out in the bush, grab a couple green fork trees and a straight green stick and put a pig on the spit, because you'll survive off it. For sure. This fella here, he's hooking in. Good, <laughs> eh? <laughs> anyway, we're gonna um, finish up here for tonight, because like we said earlier, I forgot the torches, so I only got one torch on the GoPro, so. You'll probably see us in the morning heading home. Oh, well, guys, 
We've had a big stuff up this morning. Me and Connor just got out of bed. Talking, as a pig must have walked into camp and the dogs were carrying on and so I was going to collar the dogs up then we got slack and then we looked out to where the boat was and it's gone. It was sitting right there and now it's gone. Connor's just walked up there looking for it but no boat. So we put it down to the tide. We're in the fresh water up here but the tide does come up a little bit. We kept a good eye on it yesterday and it moved like an inch all day so we thought dragging it right in the boat about a metre up the bank would be fine but we've woken up and we can see where the tide's come up and the boat's gone. So now we're going to have to go for a walk and hopefully it's got caught on one of these sandbars down here. Otherwise we've got a long, long walk ahead of us. Tide come up higher last night, yeah. Oh. Holy. So we're going to go for a walk otherwise I don't know what we're going to do. We're going to be stuffed for about 500 meters down the river still no sign of the boat it's getting really thick busting over tree but we just got to keep punching hopefully it's pulled up on one of the sandbars i'm pretty sure we didn't leave the motor down so she's a flat bottom so it's going to drift pretty far recovery mission <laughs> oh, i really hope we can get this boat Connor's got a like little app thing on his GPS that sends messages out of service, so. I reckon oh, I might get eaten if I go down there and try and look out. Yeah. I'm trying to find another tree. Well, we've gone about a can and a half now. Still no sign of the boat. We're hoping it's not sunk, so. I, we, I just climbed out on them trees there. I can see a couple more sandbars on a river bend, so we're gonna head down there. It's probably another 500 meters, and fingers crossed the boat's there. Otherwise, we'll be calling for backup. Hopefully, we don't have to do that. <laughs> hey, big, big member of Jack. True. Yeah. Any sign, Joxy? I can just see through the trees there. Oh, there's two more sandbars, I can see like the river, oh, river sort of bend. I'll fall in here and get eaten. <laughs> oh well, we'll go keep, check it keep out. Keep this a fair way down, but I probably should keep punching it. Big wind pushing that down the river too with the current, so could have taken the boat a long way down. Slide. That's a big crop. Look at me, like, that far apart. That's why I could have flipped our boat. What a monster. Big hoof on him, look. Mm. Straight into this little shitty bit of creek here. Monster croc, though. Look. A little bit deep. Oh, there's the boat. Woo! Oh! Oh, you should stop swearing, I'll cut all that out. <laughs> That is life saving. Looks like, like it's just jammed up in some trees there. We're not walking. We don't have to call for help and wait till lunchtime. We had a little sneaky suspicion it might have been caught here because it's like a real shallow spot where there's heaps of trees and snag. So. Well, I thought I was hoping it was going to be caught out on them or something, but it's actually just jammed up in the sticks there. Oh, how lucky is that? I thought the boat was going to be sunk or something stupid. <laughs> Here she is. We are very lucky. Yeah. Well, it's like high tides and it's just jammed up on these logs here. Oh, sweet. Get in, get in, get in. Oh, lucky it's not flipped or anything. We are surviving today. That was a very dumb move last night. Very dumb. What do you reckon, boys? Well, I just wants to kill pigs. <laughs> what do you reckon? Could have turned into a real, real survival mission. Yeah. And we had no food as it was, and we weren't prepared because we were coming for a survival mission. And I was so keen to get back and buy something to eat from town. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so keen now still, so let's go. Oh, well, we've got to head back up the creek now about, oh, what would that be in about a and a half? Yeah. <laughs> Grab all our camp gear and then we'll head, head home. 
bit of bright from that big croc slide we seen back up. Yeah, we seen a monster croc slide up on a few sandbanks up. Big fella, so we're a bit towy now. Hi. Oh, well, after we got our boat, we've packed all our gear. And uh, we're heading home. We were going to go for a flick, but after our big walk to find the boat, we're a bit over it. So we're just going to head home now, I think, with the tide. The tide's coming in, so. See how we go. Dog's loaded up. Not much freeboard on the old boat. 